So in order to turn your PC into an Xbox Series X, aka get the dashboard for all your uh, games, what you're going to want to do is to click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to this website. And you're going to click this right here, Xbox Series X-ish PTHM. It's going to download it and then you're going to hit open. And once you hit open, oh, I should have said you have to install Play Night first. So I'll leave the link in the description for that. You're going to want to download this, but I already downloaded it. The setup is pretty easy. Once you download it, you just want to double click the installer, then you're going to hit install. And once you install Play Night, it's going to prompt you and ask you to link all of your uh, stuff like Ubisoft Connect, Battle.net, Origin, Epic Games, Steam, just so you all have all those games that you have right on the same dashboard. But we're not going to, I'm not going to show you that today because it's pretty straightforward. So after you install Play Night, double click this and then it's going to ask you if you want to install it I'm not going to hit yes because I already have it installed but you're going to hit yes and then you're going to have the theme but in order to get the music you're going to want to scroll down and I'll leave a link in the description for this download it says install Xbox sounds What you're going to want to do is hit download and then click on this one. It's the Play Night Sounds 31.pext. Open it. And once you open it, it's going to ask if you want to install this extension. Just hit yes. But I'm not going to do that because I already downloaded it. And now what you're going to want to do is hit Xbox Sounds by this guy. Now what you're going to want to do next is go to Settings. Oh, I'm sorry, not Settings. You're probably going to have to restart Play Night after you installed those extensions. So now you're going to want to hit Play Night Sounds, Open Music Folder. Extract these to wherever I already extracted it. So once you extract it, you're going to have these Xbox sounds. It's not actually music folders, it's open sounds folder. My bad. So once you're in sounds folder, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a bunch of sounds. Just delete all the sounds that are in there and then paste the Xbox sounds. And then you're good. So in order to open the Xbox menu, you're going to hit want to hit switch to full screen mode. But if you want it to automatically be in the Xbox dashboard mode when you open your PC, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go to settings and then in general check the launch and full screen mode. So at this point, you can either click here and then exit Play Night and then re-enter it, or you can just hit switch to full screen mode. And this is what you're going to see. So just plug in your Xbox remote or whatever your remote you're using. I doubt you're going to be using a PS5 remote. And this is it. So yeah, it looks really similar to the Xbox Series X dashboard, but you can tell it's not quite the same. That's why it says Xbox Series S or Series X-ish. But uh, yeah, you got all your games from Epic Games, Steam Store, Origin. You have all your games here, all in one dashboard. So yeah, it's pretty cool.